Hi, I'm Julie Musial, founder of Musial Marketing. Today I'd like to talk to you about thought leadership. What is thought leadership? I've been hearing this term for about three to four years, and not too many people really know how to explain it well, because I don't think too many people really quite get it. So here's my definition of what thought leadership is. What thought leadership is not is the way we've been advertising for the last hundred years, in a very intrusive and oftentimes obnoxious way. At the current time and over the last hundred years, it's all about the product or the service and little to no thought is given to the buyer. Today, you need to think like your buyer and publish content that will solve their problems. First, find out who is your buyer. You may have several different buyer personas. Second, what problems does your buyer have? Third, what problem can you solve for this buyer? What value can you bring to the buyer? And where can you find your buyer? For example, Facebook, Twitter, blogs. Next, what is your goal? What do you want them to do next? Do you want them to like you on Facebook? Follow you on Twitter? Sign up for an email list? Register for a webinar? Purchase something? Download something? Maybe a podcast or an ebook? inquire for a form or an application. When you create content for a buyer which solves their problem, you can do it in many different forms. You can do it in a blog, you can do it in a webinar, publish articles, news releases, podcasts, or white papers. The content that you create will be a solution to a buyer's problem and will not mention your company or products at all. By giving free content, you will set your company apart as an expert and a trusted resource. That is what thought leadership is, an expert and a trusted resource. If you deliver this message correctly, you will brand your company as one to do business with. I'm Julie Musial, founder of Musial Marketing. We'll see you next time.